It's a simple question, Maxie. Did you see Sonny come or go from his house the night Claudia disappeared? No. I didn't see anyone. When did you become such a terrible liar? I need your help. Well, having fulfilled my fair one's desire, yeah, I, I stand ready to... Somebody decide. knows the truth about Claudia. What reason would I have to lie about Sonny? Well, maybe you're scared. Maybe Spinelli's involved. If you had anything on Spinelli, you wouldn't be talking to me, would you? And frankly, I don't think it's a good idea that you question me Period. It'll just lead us down a depressing, dreary trip to memory lane when we were together and you were cheating on your wife and you were addicted to pills that I supplied. Let's not forget I also faked a pregnancy. No, no hallmark memories there. We should just be grateful that we both found someone who brings out the best in us and move on. You saw Sonny that night, didn't you? You said that? I didn't. You're spinning pretty hard to avoid giving me an answer. This whole Claudia thing, it's not going anywhere. Are we done? I'm an addict, okay? I got pretty good at denial, but I also learned how to recognize it in other people. You were out there that night. You couldn't have had a better view of Sonny's front gate than if you were on a stakeout. Fine, you want my statement about no, the night I in question? I want the facts. Yeah, I was at Kate's house waiting for the pool guy, and it was dark. It was also raining and my shoes were muddy, and I couldn't see out my front windshield, let alone to the house next door. There you go. And? That's all I have to say. That's all you have to say? <sighs> okay. Claudia vanished. She's probably dead. I'm not gonna push you now. I'm not. But there may come a time when you're subpoenaed, and then you'll have to tell me the truth. I, I try to keep you out of this, right? Yeah, uh, deniability. You wish to protect me from the inquiries of law enforcement who would no doubt look unfavorably on Claudia's disappearance. I really need your expertise right now. Well, yeah, uh, of course. I'm, I'm happy to shed my cloak of ignorance and help in any way I can. Okay, whatever I say to you, you cannot repeat. You understand that? Not even to Maxie. You can be completely confident in my silence. Uh, this arrived in the morning's post, yes? Appears to be a photograph of a woman. Of Claudia. Deceased. On, on the floor of a somewhat rustic cabin. That's where she died. I, I can only surmise that this is the same cabin where the Valkyrie had her baby. Claudia helped Carly deliver her baby, and then Claudia tried to steal the baby. It is most fortuitous that you arrived in time to stop her. It was Michael who stopped her. Michael. It was an accident. Nobody was ever supposed to know. But obviously somebody does. Claudia died instantly. Sam took Carly and the baby to the hospital, and then Michael and I waited by the roadside for Sonny to arrive with Max and Milo. So this picture must have been taken when the body was left unaccompanied in the cabin. I didn't see anybody watching. I'm not even sure what they saw. So we have very little to go on. <sighs> okay, um, why don't you start with the camera that, that may have taken this photo, and then and then the paper that it was printed on, and then trace the envelopes, and I just do what, just do what you do. Right, just right. trace these items back to the source, and with our due diligence and a little bit of luck, maybe it leads us back to the person who took this photograph. Considering the, the variables of digital megapixelation, 
coupled with an elevated level of resolution, which necessitates the use of equipment not available to the general public, which infers a specialized supplier. Ever. McCall and Jackal have finally been hired on a case that does not involve cheating spouses. We are going to provide security for an exhibit arranged by Kate Howard at a Pro Et Gallery on 3rd. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> I mean, do you have any idea what this means? This is like A-list work for a PI. If this works out, it puts us in a whole different league. No more cheesy motel stakeouts. No more strip clubs. No more... Really bad outfits, Spinelli. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. What? 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 The case. Security work. Yes. Well, I, I'm unavailable at present and for the foreseeable future. I'm working on something for Stone Cold. Why? What happened? <sighs> this arrived in the morning mail, addressed to Jason Morgan. The agent sent you over a 15-page document about the installation, and it says on page 7 that that piece needs to have its own room. No, not its own space, its own room. Do you know how prestigious the show is? Do you know how many art galleries would kill to have it? Fine, then you go do that. Wow, uh, Max Misa sounds fierce. <laughs> Yeah, well, Kate's got a lot riding on this art show, and because she does, so do I, so it has to go off without a single hitch. Okay, which brings me to the reason for my visit. Oh! I can't believe it! I, I actually found a way for us to, to work together again. You know, it was definitely hard selling Kate on the idea of McCall and Jack will doing the security for this event, but she knows that you know that my butt's on the line, so you both will do a really, really, really good job. Under any other circumstance, I would be honored to accept the work that you have so generously arranged, but an urgent situation has arisen which demands the full attention no. of myself and first. No, 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 Spinelli. You, you're not backing out on me. Not after all this time you've been giving me those puppy dog eyes making me feel guilty for how much I've been working. And you've been saying we need to focus more on our relationship, make it a priority, but we can't do that now. Why? Because it, it has to do with my career and not some stupid, dangerous mob thing like the last time or probably like the next time. No, Spinelli, you will not turn me down. Uh, not to worry, um, McCall and Jekyll are Entirely capable of multitasking. I don't think I like the sound of that. No, the pro at gallery shall be completely secure for the entire run of the show. I, I will install state-of-the-art surveillance equipment, and, and, and we have several reliable freelance personnel that can do on-site crowd control. Okay, I don't want you sending some off-duty security cop to watch this show while you and Sam are taking care of Jason's latest crisis of the moment. No, 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 I, no, I assure you, McCall and Jack will be at the show working diligently behind the scenes. Well... Can't you just tell Jason that I'm I'm some sort of priority? I don't know. Like, he can get somebody else to do all those illegal things he needs done. Actually, no. I, I can't. Spinelli, this is important to me. I assure you, so is Stone Cold's present difficulty. But what about my career? I mean, you, you said that you believed in me. You said you would support me. I, I, I do. I will. Kate's really going out on a limb here, and, and I, I don't know why, but this art show seems to be make or break it for Crimson, which means it's make or break it for me. I mean, fashion magazines are dying in, in droves, Spinelli. For Crimson to stay afloat, Kate's got to keep it high profile, and I think that's exactly what this art show is going to do. I just would really like to know that I could count on you. You, you can count on me. I support you and your career with all of my heart. 